Doing the no question show, man. Come on. Once that sinks in, which it does sometimes in the middle of a roll or a match, yeah. but it leaves you when you're off the map. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, and do, so do you find like, um, I guess the, the, the humility, once you get off the map, you do, right? And once you move it yeah. Yes. I yes. can't keep up with these yeah. kids, but yeah, that's the but thing. you're winning. Yes. And you're winning. And you may go home and need a nap on the couch, whereas but the guy you beat who goes and I'm gonna go surf. Yeah. Right? That starts happening at um, your age. But you really are in your prime. Okay. You really are. I, think I gotta start believing in this. Like I said, my wife tells me that she's 32, 36, you're gonna be the best. Yes. And, and you know, the best years. The one thing that I have Especially in the combat sports. The one thing that I have felt is I'm three and five in my last MMA fight, but I feel I'm the most dangerous I've ever been. Yes. You know, but I just, I, I have a lot of trouble lining up MMA fights. It's, it's not easy for me fighting fights. It's hard. And, yeah. and, and that's the thing that's like another confidence shaker. And, and a, a lot of that, you're probably in that thing where they're looking for a win, and you're not that guy. Yeah. And then the guy who's up here, he doesn't want that risk, and the guy but, but down here, he wants a chunk. Right. You're yeah, in that like, that's where I'm at. right? Yeah. And that's a tough one. And MMA, you know, is, it's a, a business. Yeah. I'm trying to I consider myself a product, right? And I, you know, my products are me. And I, I was at a, at a good standpoint when I was a little bit younger. And I'm trying to rebuild my career a little bit. Japan, fighting in Japan really ruined my life. Dude, I got a bunch of really bad split decisions. And then I fought Kawajiri at 145 just to get my foot in the door. And, and coming home on the 0-3. I've never been 0-3 in any fight. Jiu-Jitsu, nothing. So seeing my first 0-3 oh, skid, I, was, I didn't know what that was. And I'm coming home now. I guess, this is what I thought. I thought people go, he's 0-3, he's lost me. Let's get him out. That's what they'll say. Let's get him out. Yeah. But then yeah. he's a little too dangerous to still take. Yeah. And that's where I'm in that. Yeah. I'm in that enough that I'll pay for him. So we can watch the fights that I have over there. Right. Oh, those are, those are, those are, those are Japanese split decisions. Yeah. And that's not weird thing too, it's like, it, it, if you look at whether it's wrestling, jiu-jitsu, MMA, boxing, right? In those, there's always about 10 guys who are all within a hair of each other. And why is it that one guy is always above? That's the music. Because inside, he believes it, and but the guy who's always number two on the podium, even though they both work through a bracket of 30 guys, that guy partially knows that I'm here just not to lose. Whereas the other guy, right. And not, he's fighting not to lose, kind of fighting me. And I don't know how that mindset is, because I know I've been in that spot. I know I've won 
match were meant to be. I wasn't there, and I won out of like lots of draw or aggression or that guy fucked up. And I've lost matches where I really felt my inner calm. I felt so sure. And I just gave, I gifted that guy a victory. And then I've had other ones where I, I fought, and I didn't even care who won, right? It was, it was like we both fought, and, and we were in that. And you're like, okay, it's a lot of match. I'm, I'm, I'm content with the outcome, whatever it is. I, I, I just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just,